So today has been pretty crazy. A lot, lot of meetings. Didn't get to do a lot of vlogging. When you have meetings, you just can't do any of that kind of stuff. So heading back to the church now. I got a creative meeting tonight, which ought to be fun. Get to hang out and do some creating for this year. Crazy out here. It's starting to snow up here in Michigan. So the roads are really bad and, and fun. It's also extremely cold outside. Wow! The wind like cuts through you like a knife. Hey, what's Well, the creative meeting went good. Lots of creative ideas. We built these right here. Those are gonna hold diapers, bags. We're gonna be putting them up there so babies can't reach them. Uh, then we started painting another thing. I'm gonna show you this another day, but we. Uh, we started putting together these lights we're making. It ought to be pretty cool. I'm hoping they turn out really cool, but we'll see. Going to Meyer, gonna pick up a prescription. Prescription obtained. Back out into the freezing cold. Good morning, Wednesday morning, service prep today. Just actually had a meeting with our youth pastor talking about some ideas for service tonight. How often do you guys collaborate with your youth pastor? Because I'll tell you, youth pastors have some really good ideas and sometimes kid pastors have some really good ideas to help youth pastors. So these are the notes for that meeting or the sketches. That's funny. Open, to open, pull, pull this. Yeah, I pulled it. it. Didn't open. You know, just as I thought. Projector bulb. So I get to install that sometime this week. I need plates. Do we have any plates? That could work as a plate. Creating a new game. Well, I'm not really creating the new game. The new game is actually a minute to win it game called Baby Blocker. So the way the game works is you actually take a plate and you stick it on your head. Balance that. Then you've got to take these baby blocks here. You have to stack them on your head. I totally didn't make this game up. This game is from a minute to win it. You got to stack five of them. I know this is easier with a camera. I can see what I'm doing. There you go. You get the idea. Heading to lunch with the youth pastor. I sure hope you do collaborate with your youth pastor or whoever you work with. There's so many good ideas out there. Lunch was good. Now I got to go run some errands real quick. And uh, then I'll get back to the office. I'm not sure how much more I'll vlog the rest of the day. I mean, as I got a lot of office work to do today. So this may be the last for Wednesday. And so if that's the case, we'll see you tomorrow. Happy Thursday to you. It's Thursday morning. I'm going upstairs to, oh, to talk to our youth pastor real quick about a video he's working on that we talked about yesterday that you saw all the notes about. All right, friend. Yes, that's awesome. We'll see you later. Thanks for all your help. It's going to be awesome, man. Whew, that video is going to be crazy good. Working alongside my youth pastor, on this project's got me thinking this week. You know, I hope that you guys make good connections with the people that you work with. There's so much talent out there, and there's so many things that they know that you don't, and there's so many things that you know that they may not, and building that connection makes you stronger in a way. I mean, it makes you be able to do things that you never thought you'd do. I mean, this video we're working on together, kind of sort of, I mean, I'm helping him just kind of watch and 
be a second eyes in the room. I'm not even doing that much, really. It just opens up the door for us to be able to create something amazing and for him to create something amazing. And so, you know, I know that kids pastors and youth pastors don't always have that strong connection, but it's, it benefits you so much if you make that connection with other leaders and other employees and other people you work around. It can really take you to a whole nother level. So there's my two cents for the day. I'm going to pick up my little girl from school. I'm sure she's had a fun day. Did you have a good day? Did you a good day? You may not know this about me, but I actually collect old retro video games. And so I'm going to meet a guy right now that uh, he has an, a Nintendo game, an old Nintendo game that's pretty hard to find. Well, I'm sitting here. Let's see if he shows. This isn't dangerous at all. Trust me. Trust me. Well, the trade has been made. And so I just traded a Super Nintendo for this. But that's not it. This is the hard one to find. Ninja Gaiden 3. It's the tricky one. I've got the other two, one and two, but the third one is the hardest to find. See, I'm not all work and no play. I do have a little bit of fun in life, so. Friday morning, heading to the gym. <clears throat> it's not too cold outside, actually. It's kind of crazy. A little behind schedule, hit every red light possible this morning. So I about fell on the treadmill. There's not very many things in this world I'm more scared of than falling on treadmill. Being a father, losing my loved ones, falling on treadmill. Oh yeah, and if you have not checked out Bethel Music Kids, you need to go do that. This right here. Really good stuff.